Burlington is holding its annual Carousel Festival. This is to celebrate one of their most popular attractions that residents mm -hmm. and visitors alike can all experience. Yeah, joining us now to share more is Sean Echeverria. Good morning, Sean. Thanks for spending some time with us today. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So for those who are not familiar with the Burlington Carousel and its history, could you quickly sum that up for us? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the Burlington is a historic or the Burlington Carousel is a historic dental carousel. Um, it was actually built around 1910. Um, so it's coming up on around 113 years old, which is incredible. Um, the city purchased it back in 1948. Um, and since then, it's gone through two total restoration projects, um, one of which actually just finished up. And um, we just got the carousel back in its brand new home here in City Park. Uh, we got a nice building now to, to uh, hold this brand new restored carousel. Well, that's fantastic. And we hear that there is a special way of commemorating this year's event. What do you have for people who attend? Yeah, uh, so actually we have um, for people that are at the festival and want to fill out a survey and give us feedback on the festival, um, we've actually partnered with Hand Pottery um, and they've got two uh, hand painted one of a kind uh, dessert plates that we'll be giving off. That's an $80 value. So just for filling out the quick survey, we'll have QR codes and paper surveys placed throughout the festival. Um, so just giving us that quick, simple feedback. Um, it goes a long way with us. And then also you get a chance to win an awesome piece of uh, history. And we know that it's not just about the carousel at this event, even though that's the main attraction. There are also other activities that folks can experience as well at this year's festival. Yeah, uh, so in addition to the carousel at Burlington City Park, we have several other amusement rides such as the trains, um, the boats, and then the, the uh, car ride. Um, all of those rides are free throughout the festival uh, weekend. So come on down, that's all free. Um, we've also got music that's gonna be going on on the main stage all day long, all weekend long, um, as well as performances on the that -away stage. Um, we, honestly, we could go on for the next 30 minutes talking about the stuff that we're piling into one weekend. <laughs> we just really got so much going on. Yeah, Sean, uh, live music is such a draw for so many people. Can you talk about this year's concert? Uh, who do you have headlining? Yeah, so um, the festival on Saturday, the, the actual festival wraps up at 6 p.m. and then we go into what we call our evening uh, concert on Saturday. Um, so that's from 6 to 10 p.m. on Saturday, May 6th. And this year we're fortunate enough to have up and coming country stars Ryan Perry as well as Crawford and Power. Wow, Very that's cool. exciting. Well, yeah. Good. Sean, any uh, parting thoughts before we say goodbye? Uh, we know Burlington City Park is where people need to go Saturday and Sunday. Anything about parking or anything else? Uh, yeah, if you check out our website, it's burlingtonnc.gov slash carousel festival. We've got all event information on there. Um, you can also follow us on Facebook. It's B Town Special Events. Um, that's where we're putting out all of the information and as well as any festival updates. Um, and we'll be posting photos and, and everything throughout the weekend. So, so follow along and we look forward to seeing y'all May 6th and 7th at Burlington City Park. Yeah, we wish you a successful weekend. Thanks so much for joining us, Sean. And once again, everyone at home, there are some different times for Saturday and Sunday. So take note, it's on your screen now. Saturday, the festival will kick off at 10 a.m. And then Sunday, May 7th, it will begin at noon. The website is on your screen now.